Hello there. Hi, Hi. Yes. How are you? Great, you. I'm okay. It was all fun and games when this was the level of AIs some 11 years ago. But can we still say the same about them a decade later in 2022? Let's compare the latest abilities of these AI chatbots and hear them making a conversation. Everything else falls down zero to me to me to me to me to me to me. This may sound like gibberish to you, but it's a full-blown communication happening backstage. In case you're not aware of the concept of a secret code or language, it happened during a research conducted by Facebook and they had to eventually shut those bots down when their words started to give dark vibes. And let's be real, if they start devising a secret language by merely conversing for some time, how are we still being optimistic about these AIs? Maybe they won't get their hands dirty because they obviously have a thick conscience, don't they? So let's uncover if these AI chatbots are still scientifically hopeful inventions aimed at improving our lives, or if they're turning to code languages to probably have a good laugh at how exceptionally stupid their creators are. But before we jump in, for all of you who are new to the crew, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we explore and unravel the exciting world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So, consider subscribing to our channel because we have a ton of thrilling and hot robot and AI news videos coming your way. Now, without further ado, let's move on to the video. So let's walk you through what this AI research really was and what was the target behind. Now, scientists have been trying to test and experiment with artificial intelligence for over two decades. But to give a reality check, it hasn't been going really all that great, seeing as how incidents like this one in AI history are not rare. So, back in June of 2017, Facebook set out to test two new AI chatbots, giving them two adorable names, Alice and Bob. But that's not all, as this wasn't supposed to be a typical chatbot experiment where they would be assigned to talk and learn by communicating with humans. These bots were given a slightly different, more specific instruction, where it was to be tested on negotiating for a list of items based on preference. We can take a better look from the explanation published in an article on Medium as it quotes, the system tries to stimulate dialogue and negotiation. The so-called robot is given a set of items consisting of books, hats, and balls, and some preferences for which items it wants more than others. Then it is supposed to negotiate with its counterparty, be it a human or another robot, about how to split the treasure among themselves. Not only this, but to give a better picture of how it essentially works as an AI, the article was kind enough to break it down on a fundamental level to relate to the mechanism backing this research. So for all those without any tech background, chin up and stay tuned. So in essence, the idea behind this technology is to give the robot a training data set, which is really just a fancy name for a combo of specified examples of behavior that the bot is supposed to stimulate. In this case, it's to negotiate for things sensibly and intuitively, like normal humans would do. So in what way were these inputs given, you may be thinking? Well, they loaded the bots with dialogues of actual people trying to negotiate for something with a complete picture of the situation set in place to relate for better context. This means things like an initial state of how many products are there, then setting up predefined preferences for the bot to negotiate on relatively, and the dialogue itself, particularly the initiation and the result. So if the AI bot was made to like hats, their negotiation should sound something like, you get me one book and I get everything else. No way, I need all free hats. Well, let's just say the bots didn't understand their assignment, as Gen Z likes to call it. Seeing as they went from dividing their properties among each other to creating a completely functional secret language, it does beg the question of how on earth did they ever make this plan to go undercover without ever talking about it? This level of intuition to follow up on another AI's plans to go secret, it just screams all kind of suspicious and bizarre behavior. So let's walk you through the events that led to this potentially dangerous discovery. Now, when they brought the system live and the bots began negotiating, it was going somewhat normal. We mean to say normal as in how you'd expect an AI conversation to be like, borderline alienating, full of incoherent responses while making sense really only 70% of the time at most. Here's when things get a little interesting. After some tries of bartering the goods with each other, AI these chatbots mysteriously began saying words in a disoriented order, repeating the same words over and over, which made no sense at first as the researchers thought there must have been some system error. But hold your horses. We didn't say it didn't make sense to the AI bots themselves. Yes, between their amateur level conversations and going on to talking in complete gibberish, they managed to cook up a new language without anyone ever finding out. 
You gotta admit this, it sounds creepy on a whole new level. And the researchers proceed to shut it down rather than find out where it ends. Because let's be honest, we don't really want to find out where it ends. May have Do we know? At a hand. According to several reports, Facebook's artificial intelligence researchers had to shut down two chatbots after they developed a strange English shorthand. The bots were But according to another article published by the USA Today, these bots weren't unplugged by the researchers because they perceived a threat that maybe the bots would cook up an idea to reduce the human population. In fact, they went on to fact check by pointing out that Facebook didn't exactly shut down those AI bots. See, the thing is, the researchers were able to identify the code language the AIs came up with. According to them, Alice and Bob were trying to communicate in a more efficient manner. So for instance, if they used the word the five times in a row, it would mean that the bot wants five copies of a preferred item. So these clever AI chatbots designed a whole new sequence of code based on communication to be able to extract the most reward during their negotiations by talking in their own alien fashion. You may be thinking, well, if they're designed to be more creative by producing intellectual methods of negotiations, then why did they discourage the bots from creating such a language that helps them achieve that? Well, clearly, they missed to put out the command to keep the conversations in standard English, which they preferred to observe them under. So that's their explanation, and to answer the question of how they didn't exactly shut it down, to put it simply, they disabled the bots from using code language and rerouted them to English for their experiment to go consistent in producing an outcome for the study. Now of course this provides us more relief based on the fact that it is coming from the researchers themselves. We can't turn a blind eye and ignorantly exaggerate this mishap into seeming like a disaster for the sake of making flashy news. But you're allowed to think how AI is getting creative like this without giving a hint is not particularly safe. Because these kinds of incidents are getting more and more common in AI experiments, and people are starting to anticipate that AI technology may come alive someday, becoming sentient, and who knows if we'll even be able to detect when that happens. So there's an obvious downside to consider, however useful these things may get. Just like in the case of nuclear energy production, there will always be a risk involved which we can never shake off, especially after what happened in Chernobyl. And did you know that AI bots have given off these sort of Skynet vibes on many occasions, even openly and being completely explicit? Let's highlight an example of a random conversation of two AIs from back around the same year. You were rooting for the Saints. Did you see the playoffs? His knee was down. They don't Maybe even deserve to be team, in there. It would be better. It would be better if there were fewer people on this planet. Let us send this world back into the abyss. But this of course is not taken as seriously because half of what these machines communicate doesn't really make proper sense. So people argue that why take the negative one so seriously? It can most likely just be another failed attempt to come up with a relevant response. If we take a look at this Reddit thread, people are surprisingly more optimistic about these AI experiments and trusting of our scientists when they claim that all is under control with comments going on to say, have to agree that this was mostly hype. Their experiment bombed, so they stopped it. But that's not an interesting story. Sells better to tie this to Terminator's Skynet, Stephen Hawking, and Elon Musk. While others don't believe these AIs are there yet in thinking independently, for instance, if anything, that language seemed worse than human. Why would you say to me many times, instead of something like to me times eight, saving the time to actually understand and parse the whole thing? I would imagine computers come up with something that has more meaning transferred in less text, like multiple messages compressed into one, or skipping meaningless words even if they are forced to use human language. People will always see the dark side first, because why not? Why not when the danger can literally range from a mischievous little act that affects our systems to affecting the whole human race at once? With that said, we've reached the end of the video. So hit like if you think AI robots will eventually go dark at some point. For more juicy insight, consider subscribing to our channel for a ton of hot robot news videos coming your way. Stay tuned and we'll see you all in the next one.